Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gio here and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut out weapons in Adobe Photoshop. Um, this mostly goes for Call of Duty weapons and you could use these for your thumbnails or for clients that need thumbnails. Now first, if you're going to do this, make sure you get the screenshot off of an Elgato, um, whether that's from your client or from yourself. and just, it just makes it way easier. It's HD quality. It's not going to be like all pixelated and stuff. Um, it makes the gun way easier to cut out. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the magic wand tool, right click on it, and then click object selection tool. Um, and then you're going to want to hover, or you're going to want to like, I guess, drag the little box um, over top of the gun itself. And then it's going to load because it's like selecting each rounded part of it. There you go. Um, and then you can also press Q and look at like spots you missed or um, so that's a little bit over. Um, but in this case, you know, it's it should be fine because most of the time you should put a um, a stroke on it or something like that. I just realized my whole face is turning red because of the reflection of the, uh, the monitor here. Um, but yeah there's that and then you're going to want to click on the layer mask and then there is the gun cut out i mean it's pretty simple um but if it does go over um so let me go back if it's like let's say you want this little blue area really like you just want it gone all right um since it's since it's a layer mask technically when you press q um, you can erase which parts it highlights and stuff like that. Um, so here I'll put like a little, remove a little bit of it. Oh, that is not close enough. You could also do this and use the lasso tool and then cut it out that way. So we'll do that for now. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're not going to see this stuff like in a really small thumbnail, whether that's on your PC or on um, or on like your phone or something like that so you're not gonna like see like these little pieces that are left over from the gun um, and then you just want to click on Q again after you like color everything in um, I just realize it's missing something it's missing the part of this thumb And that is done so you gonna click on the layer mask and then you just want to um, make it bigger so what we're gonna do is just do that and then there you go that's how like people get like their big guns um, on like the screen and stuff like that uh, thumbnail wise you just gotta like make it bigger because guns are not that big in Warzone so or in any Call of Duty, because you know you could do this for many CODs. People have been doing this kind of style for a while now. So yeah, let me do this real quick. Delete the layer mask, um, and then normally I use a different sky in the background. I try to use a different background in general. Um, but for this example, I'll just use a sky replacement. Um, so you just want to click Edit and then click Sky Replacement, and then you just pick. I usually pick this one. I'll show you guys in a second since it lets me move the menu because it's loading. Um, give me one moment. <laughs> All right. So there you go. And then I'm going to move it out of the way so you can see it. Um, and then you just want to turn the brightness up a bit and the temperature a little bit more down. Um, there's a bunch of different ones you can have. So like you do this one. There's also like a sunset one, there's sunrise, uh, you can add, um, so you can use this one if you want to be real simplistic with it. And then there's that, and then you can add the, um, here, make sure the one that's actually cut out is above it. You're going to want to click on camera all filter. We're going to make the gun look a little bit more crisp if you want. If you want to do this, you can do it, but you don't have to. Um, so you want to like up the sharpening a bit so um, you can do some color noise reduction depending on like how bad the screenshot is and stuff like that um, 
and then you can turn off the exposure just a tad people like their guns really bright so you just can turn it up a little bit for the vibrance and saturation um, and then clarity turned up a little bit more so you see more detail in the weapon um, and then a little bit of high or just a tiny bit of highlights it just depends on how much sun is in the screenshot um, and then you can see the before and after so there's that and you want to click OK and then obviously you can see now it looks a little bit more um, more cleaner than before so I'll try it here I'll disable it and then re-enable it it's about to pop up there you go you could tell you could tell off the bat that's a bit more uh, clean looking um, you can do it without the layer style and just like put your text and all that behind it um, or you can just do like the little um, the white stroke around it so here There you go. It was underneath the sky replacement group. Um, but you normally most people have like the stroke or they just leave it completely out or something like that. Or they make like a beam of light come off of it or like reflect off of it. Um, there's all kinds of ways you could go around doing this. Um, but this is just the easiest way to, you know, cut out the weapon. Um, and then I showed you guys a little mini sky replacement thing. Um, so you could use that. And then you can also impo import your own skies and stuff like that. So if you have something cool from the game itself and then import it. Um, you can do that too. Um, I'll make a tutorial on how to do sky replacement. It'll be out on the channel soon. Um, so you, you'll have the sky replacement tutorial and you'll have this so you can use both. Um, although it's, you know, you can use the sky replacement stuff for real life stuff as well. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, be sure to leave any more suggestions down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video. Later.